Hi everyone, my name is Roger and this is a tutorial on how to use automation on LMMS. I'm going to divide this video into two parts. In the first part, I'm going to talk about how automation works and how you can actually add it to your song. In the second part, I'm going to show you some examples of my own songs so you can understand how automation works in practice. So what is automation then? Well, Automation basically allows you to change a parameter over time. So for example, if you want your song to get progressively faster, you can use automation. If you want to add a fading or a fade out effect to your song, you can use automation. Now that we have that out of the way, let's see how to actually add the automation track. So you're going to click this button here and then you can just click any bar, right? You can use your mouse to drag it and then make this block a bit longer or a bit shorter, right? So I want to edit this part and I want to add this fading effect. So notice here how it says current length, four bars, and then the first bar to the fifth bar, right? This is important because of course anything that you edit outside of the fifth bar is not gonna affect anything because it's out of the range of this little block here. Okay, so if you open this, you're going to notice that there isn't anything because we haven't told the automation track what exactly we have uh, or we want to automate. We're going to come here to the volume knob because I want to edit the volume and then I'm going to hold control and then, and then I'm going to drag this knob into the automation track. Now it says drums volume. So let me ch let me see here. So the original volume for the drums is 88. Let's actually get it to 90 so we can be more precise. Yeah, so we have 90 here. So I want the volume of the drums to go from 0 to 90. So first thing first, we have to add a marker to the fifth bar because uh, the automation track actually ends here. So we're going to look for 90 here. By the way, you can zoom in and zoom out using your mouse. So control and the middle mouse button. You can also use these buttons to change the zoom. All right. So yeah, um, let's go and find 90. 90, and then let's go and find zero. So yeah, let's add a marker right at the beginning. And then let's change the graph. So yeah, let's delete that. If you want to delete a marker, you can use the right mouse button. But yeah, that doesn't matter. All of this, the, uh, all of this doesn't really matter because it's beyond um, the range of the automation track. So don't worry about that. So yeah, as you can see, this space here is empty because we have a different type of graph, graph, right? So let's actually use this here, linear progression. Yeah, that's much better, right? This one you, you would use for uh, sudden changes, right? But we don't want a sudden change. We want a steady, a slow change. So we can use this one. Or also, you could probably use this one. But I, I like this one better, right? So we have this graph, very simple. So that's basically it. Let's play it. So as you can notice here, the knob actually changes. So you can actually see what's going on. But let's say, for example, you, you don't want to add a fading effect to the drums. You want to add a fading effect to the end of the song, or a fade out effect to the end of the song, right? So, of course, we will need to change the automation here. But how do we actually change all of these tracks? So, one thing that we can do, we can actually add all of these knobs. So, you don't have to add only one knob. To, the, to this segment. You can add multiple knobs, but in this case, this, would be, this wouldn't be very practical because we actually have the master volume and it is at, let's actually set it at 100, right? So 
Okay, so before we do that, we're going to disconnect the old knob. So yeah, you, you just go to connections and then disconnect. So yeah, now it doesn't have any control linked to it. And then we're going to go here. So let's go to master volume. You hold control, don't forget about it. And then you just drop it here. And then um, this is going to affect this knob instead. So we just do the same. Instead, remember it's 100 here, right? So let's go and add 100. And this is at zero already, so we don't need to change it. So yeah, now we have a fade out effect for the whole, uh, for all the instruments. You see? But as you can notice here, now actually the rest of the song is at zero because the last, the last time that LMMS played the song, the volume was actually at, at zero, so it won't change automatically when you get back to the beginning of the song, which is very annoying. I mean, of course you can do this again and then just set it at 100 again, but LMMS will keep doing that. So what you can do to avoid that, you just go to Edit Song Global Automation and then you just set it at whatever number you like. So let's set it at 100. And basically, this is going to set the automation for the whole song unless you have a specific automation track here. So basically, the song will always be at 100 and you don't have to worry about this for the time being. Okay? So that's basically it for automation. I'm going to show you some examples, okay? So this is an old song of mine and here I use the automation track to create a very simple fading effect for this guitar here. Uh, so yeah. You see, nothing crazy, but I think uh, it's cool and it adds to the song. So, alright, let's go to the next example. Alright, so in this song I actually used the, the automation track to actually create this panning effect with the percussion. Let me actually play only the percussion and the automation track, so I think uh, it'll be easier to notice. See, again, nothing crazy, but I think it adds to the song, and it's, it's cool, right? It's cool. Okay, so for this song, I actually added two automation tracks. So I added uh, this one for the cap filter, and this one is similar to the one I just showed you, so it's about panning. So yeah, um, I added this effect here for the synth, so you can actually add a knob in a specific filter or in a specific effect. So actually here, if you, um, let me click on synth, effects, cap filter, and then frequency. So basically this uh, automation track changes the frequency. So let's actually give it a listen. Notice here how the frequency knob keeps changing. So you don't need to add only like volume or panning, you can add just about any knob. So this is why uh, automation is a very very powerful tool, because it can make uh, your song sound totally different. So for example, let's say I just um, disable this automation track. The song is going to sound probably much more boring than it would otherwise. Y 
you see, even when you have the same notes repeating, when you add some kind of effect and then you add automation, you can make a sound, uh, your song sound much better. Use automation to your advantage. Use it in a smart way. Use it in, a, in an interesting way. Play around with it. It's a really cool thing. And I think you're going to be able to make lots of really, really interesting stuff uh, with the automation track. All right. So... That's it for automation. I hope this video helped you. And if you have any questions about automation or about anything else, uh, be sure to leave a comment and I will try to reply to you um, as quickly as I can. Alright? So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.